In Canada, during the opening debate of a bill to get rid of the National Gun Registry, the sponsor of that bill took some heavy hits from the opposition, but never backed down. Instead, MP Candace Hepner pointed out the registry focuses on the wrong people and that the more than $2 billion boondoggle has done nothing to help law enforcement solve gun crimes. As Tony Bernardo with the Canadian Institute for Legislative Action told me, he's cautiously optimistic this bill will finally put an end to the gun registry. Tony, as always, great to talk with you. And you too, Jenny. Gotta say, you have to hand it to MP Candace Hepner. She told it. <laughs> oh like yeah, you sure do. She's uh, really taken up the torch of our cause. And you know, she really did. She told it like it is, like you have told us for so many years about this registry. You know that it's a boondoggle. It's a waste of money. It's not the answer to solving gun crime. And she took the hits, boy. Well, that's right. Well, we're up to $2 billion, and it's never solved a single crime in Canadian history. So what did you think of that debate yesterday? Where are we headed? Well, I, I, I was very encouraged by it. Uh, the MPs that spoke in favor of getting rid of the gun registry uh, certainly made some tremendous points, uh, including all the new stuff with the security breaches, and the, uh, the other side just dredged out the same old tired arguments. You know, and I also thought um, when MP Hepner, she, you know, she talked about how 93 percent of the gun crimes in the past eight years have committed, been committed with illegal guns and unregistered guns, saying that, you know, it flies in the face of anybody who supports this. I mean, she really threw the facts behind why this has not made a difference when it comes to law enforcement. Well, she really did, and, and also the Minister of Public Safety uh, released the number that uh, since 2005, there have been two homicides in Canada committed with a registered handgun. Yeah, unbelievable. And, and when you look at the problems you're having up there. Oh, yeah, it, it's, it's absolutely crazy that they keep throwing money into this bottomless pit. It's just, a, you know, the uh, perpetuation of a bureaucratic fiefdom. And that, again, is something, you know, gosh, how many years ago was it that I was up there talking to you about this and nothing's well, changed? It would have been uh, 13 years ago that you first came to Canada to talk to me. Yeah. But, you know, as you mentioned, the opposition throwing out the same old story. And I thought it was kind of interesting. They say, oh, yeah, you know, it did soar to more than $2 billion. But, hey, we got it under control now. <laughs> yeah, only if you consider that they've only got half the guns in Canada registered, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. And also, I thought it was very um, savvy on her part because the liberal public safety critic came out talking about, hey, you know, um, this is all about just making political noise. And when you look at the fact that the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police and the um, Canadian Police Association says the long gun registry is, is making a difference. She shot right back saying, well, that just proves that they're out of touch. Right. And you know what? What he didn't say was that the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police accepts huge donations from the computer contractor that does the gun registry. Yeah, what they don't know or what they don't want us to know. Well, I should say want you to know because I don't live in Canada, but I feel like I've been part of the story for a long time. Well, you, well, you have, you know, and uh, I think that we share this with our American brothers and sisters, too. Uh, we're the battleground up north. If it, if it manages to fly here, you can expect that it will be exported to the United States, too. And, you know, Tony, I know you, you, you spoke well of um, the MP, you know, pushing this bill, but really, you got to, as I said, hand it, this is her first bill. She was just, what, elected, wasn't she? That's right. This is a, She's a first-term MP. This was the first bill she'd ever put forward, and she's picked up the torch because, of course, Gary Breitkreitz has done a wonderful job, but he's now a six-term MP, and he's going to run another term, but uh, whether or not uh, he continues past that point, I think maybe he wants to spend time with his grandchildren, and, and it's really great that he's passed along the torch to such a dynamic person. You know, and when you look at what you've witnessed there and what you've spoken out against for so many years, you find yourself scratching your head when they, they seem to make every excuse they can for why it was, you know, hey, it was money, but, you know, it's okay. It's going to work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's yeah. never worked. It's never going to work. That's the way it is. Yeah. So what happens now? Where do we go with this, this bill? 
Well, the next thing is the vote on uh, second reading. Uh, the, the reading's been done, and, and uh, later in October there'll be a vote on it. And if the vote passes, and we're very hopeful it will, then it goes to a committee phase, and then from there to third reading, and over to the Senate. And uh, when the Senate takes it, uh, they might uh, complain and squawk, but basically our Senate doesn't have an electoral mandate, so therefore they really have to pass it, and then... That's the end of the gun registry. Mm -hmm. And so you think this could be it? We're very close. We're mm -hmm. very, very close. You can, you can almost taste it. Yeah. All righty. Well, thanks for taking the time. I know you're on the road up there. Maybe I'll see you coming up at the U.N., but thanks, as always, for talking to us. And as I said, keep us posted on what happens. Always my pleasure, my friend. All righty.